Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Tonight News. I'm Joe Boric, and this is just going to be a quick reaction to MLB The Show getting new announcers. Just hopefully the lockout ends soon, so the video game is actually enjoyable, because right now it would be stupid to buy, uh, just because there's going to be so many people in the free agency. You can rebuild the Orioles, and you can rebuild any other team that's not in a good spot in a matter of a snap of a finger, because you have Kershaw, Story, Correa, and etc. in the free agency. But, the game, once the season gets going, it will be an exciting game to buy. Now they have John Chiambi and Chris Singleton as the announcers. They brought in some actual live um, audio from game calls, they said, to put into the game. So that's pretty cool. And I was actually someone <clears throat> of the percentage, I think it's higher, that dislike Matty V. But I actually liked Matty V in the game. I thought he was pleasantly fine and he was good. But it did get old over time, and I think there's like a 10-year, 7-year period they should just switch out announcers just to keep it fresh. And I think it was smart for MLB at this moment to switch it out and have somebody like John Shambi, who was so regarded and respected and people really liked when he was with ESPN, now he's the Cubs announcer, and someone like Singy, Chris Singleton, who's just really funny and is kind of like a match made in heaven of a comedy plus a baseball game call. So hopefully they put in a lot of the funny stuff that both of those guys incorporated into a broadcast as well to make the game a little bit more uh, fun at the same time as just the game, regular gameplay of the game to make the broadcast aspect of it a little bit more fun because it, it wasn't as interesting as years started to go on because like I said, I really did like Matt Vasquez and Plesak and all the other people, but eventually it just gets old and you just try to add in the on-field reporters and everything and and it, it felt cool, like an actual baseball broadcast, but it's good to bring in new broadcasters at the helm, and I think that's really going to change the feel of the game. Just like when Emrick left from NHL, obviously having James Samolski in there, that feels completely different, and people disrespect him. Well, I don't think he's actually bad at calling the game. It's just it's not his original thing. He does minor league hockey now, um, but he hasn't really called NHL, so obviously... Um, when we have somebody like a Doc Emmerich in there or some of the others that have called the game, they have more experience at the NHL level where he doesn't. So that's a difference there. But <clears throat> I think he's done a good job on NHL. I think that Scurgeon did a great job on MLB. Now it's time for John Chiamley and Chris Singleton to get a chance, and I'm excited to see how they're going to sound because from the samples they put out, it sounds pretty darn good, and it sounds like they're going to incorporate some of the funny moments of Chiambi and that Chris Singleton also brings to a broadcast. So this is going to be interesting to see. Hopefully the MLB itself can solve the lockout so we can actually enjoy the game and not have a stack free agency. We can actually have teams built the way they should be. But everybody have a great day and pleasant day. This has been a quick video on MLB The Show changing its announcers. Peace out, everybody, and stay safe.